I'd like to describe the Sagnac interferometer that we're going to be constructing. It's going to be an all fiber optic system, so we're going to be using single mode cable throughout, and we're going to be using a 1310 nanometer wavelength, and uh, this is in the infrared range. This is the infrared diode shown here. It's got a pigtail with a connector, which is the most convenient way of connecting it up to the rest of the components in the system. We have a 2x2 coupler with 5050 uh, outputs on it. Uh, which allow us to uh, take this single signal and break it into two beams. These two beams exit here where they enter into our fiber optic loop. I've got shown here a one meter uh, jumper, but we're going to use a 40 meter cable since uh, the sensitivity depends very much on the length of this loop. And we also have uh, various uh, different adapters to allow these different connectors which are of different kinds uh, to be able to connect together conveniently, so that's quite important. After these two loops uh, or two beams go around the loop and go back through the the uh, two by two coupler, they're going to exit again back on this side, where 50% of the energy is going to go back into the laser, but the other half is going to go into our photodiode, and the photodiode is going to generate a voltage which depends upon the phase relationship between the two beams. If they're in constructive interference, it's going to be a high voltage. If it's uh, destructive interference, it'll be a low voltage. So this will then be displayed in our multimeter and uh, that's essentially the, the design of the system. We're going to have a polarization controller over here which is going to allow us to adjust the phase delay so that we can get maximum sensitivity on the device and uh, one other thing I should mention is the laser diode is uh, run by about 1.2 volts so you can use a 1.5 volt battery with a load resistor to uh, reach the correct voltage to run the system. This is our fully assembled fiber optic gyroscope uh, slash sag interferometer. I'll just show the essential parts of this device. We've got the uh, laser at 1310 nanometers inside this little box here. It connects up to our 2x2 coupler, which is also inside of this box. That then uh, has two leads that come out, uh, fiber optic co connectors, which go to this large coil here. It's a 40 meter fiber optic uh, coil, which goes around and around. Uh, a drum here and then the signal comes back to uh, connects back up to the 2x2 two two coupler and the uh, free side of the 2x2 two two coupler on the output then connects to a photodiode which connects directly to our multimeter here. One thing that's a little tricky with the Sagnac interferometer when using fiber optics is the polarization control you have to control the polarization uh, of the two beams in order to get the maximum effect. And I've got shown here on the right a three panel polarization controller that I built uh, for this purpose. And uh, by adjusting the um, angle of these paddles, you can adjust the polarization between uh, the two beams if this is inserted into one of the, uh, the fiber optic cables. Now, this obviously is a big clunky thing, and we don't want to have this on our turntable. So I've just put in a little wheel here with one of the fiber optic cables wrapped around it, and I've adjusted the angle of this paddle wheel uh, so that we get what, what we have here as a minimum uh, millivolt value on the multimeter. And this is how you adjust the Sagnac interferometer for its maximum sensitivity is by adjusting the paddle wheel until you get the minimum voltage on the multimeter. And there's always going to be some voltage on the multimeter because we're using uh, cables which have connectors and uh, you get back reflections off those connectors. We're now going to spin this up to about 120 RPM, which is the maximum for this turntable. And I'm just going to count off the values off the meter as they go. Uh, since the video won't be able to pick it up, it's going to be too fast for it. So we'll just get this going. At 116, 157. Now I can't read it. Now I'll just let it spin back down. 190. 
190, 184, 179, 171, 166, 157, 145, 125, 106, 98, 73, 64, 55, 50. You can see here we're back to 50.